Hello everyone, Mr. Storkin here, and welcome back to Pokemon Violet. Now, um, since we are, <laughs> it is nighttime and we can do it, we're going to finish up the Starfall Street ending with uh, challenging Cassiopeia. Wherever that may be, it's inside of here apparently. Okay, um, but it's in the schoolyard. So let's go see who Cassiopeia is. Because why not? As soon as I realized, hey, my team might not be ready. Is it? Um, sorry, I'm actually checking my summary on my Pokemon. Make sure they got the... Um, yeah, okay, let's try and find this Cassiopeia. My popular theory is Cassiopeia is behind the school. Because they said they were in the schoolyard. Um, nice Psyduck. You got there. Uh, ow. That Psyduck even messed up my ability to travel. Whee. Um, in theory. Um, no. Okay. Cassiopeia. Don't it star, Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia, where art thou? Go, oh boy, that did not work out as much as I'd hope. Uh, hello. Where are you, Cassiopeia? You said you challenged us at night, and... Oh, crap, the sun is rising, isn't it? You lied to us. Is it considered daytime now? I will... No, if you have a Psyduck in there. I would feel incredibly lied to if it was like all of a sudden, hey, guess what? It's daytime. I'm just like, no! No, 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 no. No! No, it's still not tame. Okay. Okay. Cassiopeia. Don't I get star? Um, ba -da -ba -bum. Uh, in the schoolyard. I am very, very confused. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Okay. Watch this like a travel destination is the schoolyard. Oh, crap. It's now daytime. Crap. Uh, where'd you like to go? There's the school store, biology, okay, art room, home ec, staff room, the director's office. Oh, literally... That's the schoolyard. I feel so stupid. Um, I don't follow classes. That's why I thought so. So we can't do Cassiopeia. Cass Cassiopeia is in the schoolyard. So that means we're going to have to do Arvin. And also, it's only in nighttime. She said she would meet me at nighttime. So we're going to do Arvin stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I did not try to mislead you. I was just like, hey... There we go. Um, we're gonna fly there to finish up Arvin's story. Because we gotta finish up Path of Sledge. I wanna fly there. Uh, I like how it's like, nope, you shall not fly there. Okay, we'll fly to the lighthouse. Yes. So, yeah, I'm gonna grab my drink real fast. So yeah, Arvin's story. I can't wait to see how Arvin's ends. Because he, I think his story was pretty interesting with Matt's, Matt's, Matt Sotif. Um, I like how no one's where they say they are, but uh, let's head in here. Oh, this triggered it. Good to know. Huh? Seriously, you beat me here? Well, this is the lab. I used to come here and play all the time when I was a kid. There better be a good reason for us for calling us here like this. Let's find out. Okay, if you say so. Any everyone is always says he's some kind of genius. Absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My dad, that is. So let me tell you. As a parent, he's the worst. Okay. Interesting. All he ever does is work. He never comes home. I don't have a single memory of him ever playing with me, his own kid. 
Master Chef's the only one who was there for me. Always. Aw. Anyway, it's open. Go on in. But Arvin, what about you? I just want to get this over with. Okay. If you say so, buddy. I feel kind of bad for you right now. It feels like we're cheating behind your back. Oh, so it's just recording. Cool. I'm currently at the deepest point of Area Zero in the Great Crater of Paldea. Okay. I've been researching the unique Pokemon here for a very long time. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand. Help carry out this final step of the great Professor Trero's glorious research. Okay. Hmm. The final step? But there's something we need first. Something we can be found within this lab. What I need is the Violet book. Wait, do you mean this book? Oh. So you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? Indeed I didn't. I'm sorry. This expedites things. Bring the Violet book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that it will be an experience worth treasuring if you come. Okay. I mustn't I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon that out that had outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. Sorry. I'm losing it. Sorry. It seems to me that you might struggle if you two were enter alone. Okay. You may take the time to gather up some reliable allies before you come, if you feel the need. I'll be waiting for you in the deepest parts of Area Zero whenever you arrive. Okay, if you say so, but I'm a bit worried. Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that Massa got wounded in the first place. Down in the great crater of Paldea. In all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you going to go? Of course I'm going to go. No. I suppose he did ask. I just can't stand by and watch while a friend heads off into danger on his own. Oh, Arvin, I care about you too, buddy. So I guess I'm going too. Besides, I'd love to give, my, give Dad a piece of my, of my mind. All right then, and to go outside. We're gonna have a Pokemon to see if we're ready to head into Air Zero or not. Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go. Okay, I'll take you on, Arvin. I'm a bit worried because I get to fight your mats stiff, but I recently found out that's a real dog. Um, odd thing just to be like, hey, I just found out that's a real dog because I was online and I was like, oh, that's a real dog. So yeah, the stuff you learn. Okay, but I want to make sure I got the right team. Uh, Magistiff's gonna actually. Let's have Godzilla in front. Okay, let's battle you, Arvin. You're on. I'd hate to take on your Magistiff. All right, you ready for a battle to go? Yes. Excellent. You're ready too, right, Magistiff? Magistiff? Baruff. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Magistiff says he's ready. Okay. You're ba uh you're battling a Mattistiff? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I see why you're worried. But my buddy here burst with energy. You never No, he was just he was just so weak a little while ago. 
Don't leave me alone. Always whine at me. Whine to battle you and your Pokemon. It's It's been so long, I nearly forgot, but he always did love to battle. Even if he was a lost, lost to the student council girl, the battle fanatic one. Okay. Yeah, I hate the student council too, so yeah. Anyway, my point is there's no need to worry. There's a brand new Arvin and Mastiff, and we're feeling auda um, audacious, I think. Or, or maybe herbaceous. Let me give you the taste of what we can do. Okay, Arvin, you're going down. You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Arvin. Okay, you're going down, buddy. Uh, Greedent. Okay, that giant squirrel. I brought a Godzilla because Godzilla has ice boosts, and I'm generally nervous about fighting fight, uh, Roma Side. But when the, I met during the hunt for the Hermit Missile, I'm all all stars. Every one of them. Okay, yeah. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I'm going to use Ice Beam. I think that's a good move with Godzilla. Okay, they're not they're like nothing. Okay, Body Slam! Okay. Um, I'm going to try Glabel Crush, actually. Normal types are really hard to predict, like, what they're weak to, because they're just, like, normal. They're weak against fine type. I don't really have a fine type Pokemon, so yeah. Okay. Uh, Garnel's Call. What is that Pokemon? I have no active knowledge. Um, I'm going to try. I have no idea what the Pokemon is, like, for the life of me. Name did not look recognizable at all, so I'm like, oh, crap. Come on, Whoops. I'm going to trust you, Whoops. Gargasnall. What is that? Oh, it's that weird mushroom evolution Pokemon. Okay, I'm going to try Earthquake. Oh, crap. Stealth Rock. That would actually be a problem. Because Stealth Rock will sneak into you. It really will. Destroy with Earthquake. Um, oh, it's actually worked. Okay. It looks like a golem, like a Minecraft golem, which I kind of like. Oh, you know Earthquake, too. Okay, the problem is, is that grounds are weak to grounds. So, yeah, let that be a thing to be concerned about. It's like, they just spin to the camera, just like, by the way. Anyway. Uh, Toad is Um, yes, I'll switch to Skeldridge, because that is a new Tentacruel form. Well, a Pokemon that looks like Tentacruel, but isn't actually Tentacruel, because it's just pretending to be Tentacruel. So yeah, go Toad Squirrel. Toad Squirrel. Uh, yeah, the rocks. I was like, what did the damage? I'm like, oh yeah, the rocks. I'm going to use Taurus on it, actually, because that just helps me in the long run. Oh, it's super effective, but didn't defeat in one hit. I'm surprised. What's Spore do? Oh, crap. The problem with sleep is that it's more annoying than anything else. Hopefully it wakes up. Uh, nope, as he gets... Oh, wow. Earth power did a crap load of damage. Okay, I'm hoping it just wakes up. Dang it. Skeldridge, you shouldn't be asleep for this long. Wake up now. You son of a bitch. That just ultimately sucks right there. Skeldridge was our first one to faint. Okay, that is... Really sad, but at least we got... Oh, it's weak to Ice Fang. I'm going to use... I should have brought in my other Pokemon. I to think about it. But I can... I want to... Sorry, this sounded weird. <laughs> it made me shut up. It's just like... It sounded odd. Um, but I will want to bring my Kujo against his match, Matter Stiff. Eventually. Take that, Toad Squirrel. Okay. Uh, Skull Villain. Okay, that is going to be uh, Nicholas domain because uh it is it's a grass and fire i thought it was something else for a minute god damn it ah. it's one of those days where you're just like i'm kind of awake but awake enough to like to understand things this shrop mm. it should not have affected me but okay but anyway it's still super effective because we got pluck um is it did not kill you one hit okay fire blast that can be problematic really Ooh, i'm surprised it didn't kill um, we go pluck. There we go. It's super effective. Let's take that skull villain. Good job, Nicola. I'm I'm proud of you, buddy. Uh, Cloyster. Um, no, I'm actually gonna do a bolt switch strategy. 
which has worked for me in the past. The Hello Cloister. Uh, I'm going to do Bolt Switch. I know you are ice and water, so I'm not as concerned. Oh, well, that took you one hit. I want to bring in my uh, Kucho just to destroy it. But good job on that one hit KO. I'm impressed with you, Nicola. Uh, oh, I like how it just does the experience right away. I'm going to bring in good old Kujo. So we can do uh, Kujo versus Magic Stuff. See who's the real MVP. Okay, I'm not as concerned about that. No, I want my bat match Matto Stiff to value your Matto Stiff. To see who's the better one. Okay, I get that you had Intimidate. Uh, I'm gonna go with Outrage. Let's celebrate your full recovery with a globe. Time to terrestrialize Match Stiff. Well, it's not exciting you terrestrialize it, but okay. I shouldn't be surprised at all. Go! I think better when it's thrown out just like part of its regular thing, and it is a ghost now? No, that's a dark type display. It looks so much like ghost. I really thought it was ghost. Okay, what move are you gonna do? Play rough. Oh, wow. Oh, Outrage does it more than once. Okay, that's interesting. I was like, why can't I change it? Okay. Your Mattistiff is the stronger one. I don't know. Maybe if I didn't have some so many damage already, it would have been fine. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Whoops. Okay, we're going to send whoops. Even though the stones are going to do some damage to it. Okay, not as much as I thought. I'm hoping he'd be on speed. I'm doubtful of it. Okay. Yep. You're rightfully afraid. I always keep underestimating these Pokemon gyms. Uh, three of them have already fainted. Oh, that feels so bad. Uh, but you bit Minerva, this is your fight to hopefully win for us. Okay, come on, Minerva. You're going to be our best bet on this one. We're going to do Moonblast. And we're going to terrestrialize you, too. So that will be beneficial to us all. Because, yeah... I like that eye you see on top of Minerva. She's like, oh, it's elegant, yeah, cool. Moonblast! As it just destroys you. Okay. Good job, Minerva. I am impressed. Good job. Yeah, take that, Arvin. Duh. You were so close, Master So close. But in you go. Thanks, little buddy. Okay, thanks for the, the kind, kind words, I guess. Ding! This was a strength of someone who could t take um, down those Titan Pokemon, huh? Uh, as much as I hate to admit, I do think we're going to need some more more support. Pokemon Air Zero is super strong. And there are all sorts of weird machines there, too. I'd say we need at least two more people. Somebody with a champion rank level skills and somebody who's deal can deal with crazy tech. Um, maybe Nimona? The soon council girl? Yeah, she'd probably be her for the job, but I doubt she'd give us any time of day unless one of us was on her level as, an, as a champion rank level. But, well, we gotta do what we gotta do. Whoever you think would be hell, just try and get in good with them. We'll see if you can, um, if we can't get together, get in touch with, if you make progress. I'll do the same. Okay. Bye, Arvin. Thanks for your help on this, I guess. Path of Legends. Complete. That's good to know. So yeah, Path of Legends has been completed. Um, hi, Pokedex updated. Uh, as we just <laughs> walk on by. Sai I like how there's just a random side just relaxing right there, be like, I'm a side duck. We so that makes me just these last couple of battles just make me really nervous for the Elite Four. But yeah. I kinda liked Arvin's story. I I'm working on a Pokemon review. I'm planning on doing um, a review down the line for stuff, but I'm going to wait to talk about that because that's a super secret project. 
that I would rather not talk about quite yet. There we go. Excalibur is all ready. Uh, see us when you need it. Okay. So, yeah, I have to wait for it to be night to go and battle the dear old member of Team Star. So I'm going to let it kind of let some time pass, and then we'll go take on Team Star. But we'll do that next time. Um, if you could, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. It does help us out with YouTube uh, and everything else if you enjoy this content. It also lets me know you, you want to watch more of this. And I do like playing Pokemon. Especially this one. This one's a bit better than Arceus. Um, so, yeah. I'm just heading back to the school. And then we'll probably end the part. I'm really debating, actually. But, uh, again, this is going to do it for this part. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys next time as we take on Team Star. I'm currently working on something I want to do in between stuff. Um, so, more on that later. But we'll see you guys next time with more Pokemon Violet. Till then, bye bye